Welcome to the second video on asynchronous programming using MicroFocus's True Web Protocol. In this video, we will show some examples of using asynchronous web requests in a True Web script. Before continuing, please make sure you are familiar with the promised concept of JavaScript, as this is a prerequisite to understanding the rest of the video. In this script, we will make four web requests, one to the main page, and three to images on the page. For each web request, we used the await keyword, and therefore our code runs synchronously. We would like to update the code so that the three images are loaded asynchronously. We will use JavaScript's promise all syntax to wait for the three web requests simultaneously. The result is an array with a web response object per request. We can see that the requests are being scheduled and executed in no particular order. Now let's see what happens if we forget to wait for an asynchronous web request. We can see that an error has occurred. This is because the iteration has ended without waiting for the asynchronous request to finish. The engine will cancel any requests that have not yet completed between iterations. Adding the await keyword fixes the issue, and now we wait for the response to arrive before exiting the script. Thank you for watching this video about asynchronous web requests in TrueWeb. You are invited to watch our next video, Introduction to WebSockets.